All right, now as everyone gets out of the cozy new year and festive season overhang, getting down to business, the question is what's going to shape the media, advertising and marketing industry in 2016? The rollout of Bark, face-free radio auctions, uh, the continued spending power of e-commerce as a category, the growing importance of uh, Facebook and Twitter as well as Instagram as marketing platforms, and some major media account movements both in India and globally. All of these, some of the landmark events that impacted uh, this space in the year 2015, the year gone by. But how will 2016 pan out for the industry? What are the big bets for the year ahead? We'll get the answers in this, our top story. 2015 was a busy year for the ad and marketing industry with big changes in the television ratings measurement, radio and social media spaces. And we're likely to see all this and more in 2016 as well. From industry giants investing heavily in startups to the digital domain fast turning into a promising playing field for brands, the year 2015 has changed a lot of rules for marketers. 2016 will provide further momentum to this trend. So the first trend which I'll look at is mobile and mobile first. Uh, with uh, larger penetration of mobile and the smartphone coming in and the Wi-Fi and you know 3G and 4G coming in, I think mobile content will become the key and mobile advertisement will really, really be key for most of the marketeers. The second one is social. Social is there for quite some time. But again, you know, linked with the devices, linked with the data speed, social is no longer like, you know, is a social media kind of thing and social can actually become a channel. Social can become a distribution channel, social can become a channel to reach out to your customer. I think there are a lot of things which will happen along with the Facebooks of the world and the LinkedIn to connect with your customer in a much more real time basis. A third trend is like content. Um, uh, again, you know, the content will play a pretty important role in the marketer's mind in uh, 2016. Uh, the another trend which is uh, which is really st I see is more about video. To be uh, honest, like you know, India is only. 10 to 15 percent people who can really read and write English together. So most of our content today available is in English with uh, mobile coming in and you know the video will become a much more important format where you the vernacular content can go through video and you know most of our conversation or our content will go through a video route. What we see as a trend is that with the advent of better connectivity 4G as well as LTE services coming in we see there's going to be a lot of noise by all major infrastructure providers and telecom companies in going out and talking about data and the fact data is being made available to users in a ubiquitous manner. That will result in a lot of services being pushed and we believe video is going to be one of the biggest themes which is going to drive that. We also believe short form video will still continue to be the winner. Media reviews ruled the media agency scene in 2015. Around $35 billion was estimated to be up for grabs globally. Some game-changing account movements like Mondelez, Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, Volkswagen, Visa, Sony, Coca-Cola, Airtel and Dabur made big news. But this year for media agencies in India, the traditional avenues of growth may take a back seat as new areas like user-generated content and programmatic buying take center stage. The first trend is of data becoming extremely important to make key decisions and also getting used to build either digital assets or even content. We call this the interplay between trinity of content, digital and data coming together um, and we see very many examples already in place towards the end of 2015 and that's going to continue. The second big trend that I see is of content itself becoming very very important uh, moving away from advertisers' hands in some way and controlled more by consumers. So the user-generated content space is actually going to boom and uh, brands will have to learn how to actually navigate that uh, space. The third trend which I see is this entire space about programmatic buying. While a lot has been spoken about, we see a big number of advertisers uh, actually using programmatic buying in a big way. The opportunity in 2016 is to take programmatic buying into actually as a planning uh, thing also where you can get a lot of insights about consumers to use and plan for both digital and even offline campaigns. So that is something definitely we, we expect to happen. These are the three clear trends which I see coming in 2016. 
creative agencies seem to be waking up to the fact that their competition now includes consulting firms, startups, and even technology firms who are after the same marketing dollars as them. 2016 is slated to be a year of hyperactivity as advertisers and content creators try to find their place in this fast changing media landscape where the consumer will always move faster than brands. So, uh, it's not just Bollywood or Hollywood that is like a copycat industry, right? no, I think marketing is too. So uh, pretty much I'm sure there are a lot of brands and marketers are going to jump on to this so-called uh, you know, branded content, digital video kind of thing which takes a cause that's larger or social issue that's larger than the uh, benefit of the brand itself and do some feel good or feel funny kind of videos on that. So I expect to see more of that. The other thing is, uh, you know what, uh, the demands, speed will become even more of an essence, right? The idea of like sort of perfecting something uh, before you do it, that's going to uh, get compromised. And that's a good thing and a bad thing because I think a lot of times the speed is because of bad planning. But uh, when the speed is intentional, when you plan this, 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 and you plan uh, moments for you to uh, learn from uh, what you've put out, uh, react to that, and change it up and put it back out there, and that's good speed. So uh, uh, both, uh, speed is both good and bad, and I think you'll see more of it, and people will learn how to handle speed as they go along. But um, I expect to see, yeah, people go fast and crash <laughs> as a result of fear them for, for sure.